The mechanisms of life simulated through supercomputers. We are inside a cell in a special part called the nucleus. Here we see some DNA, which is encoded with genetic information, including genes, the blueprints of cells. The motions of a vast number of water molecules have been calculated as well to accurately simulate the behavior of molecules inside the cell. DNA is like a long string composed of a double-stranded helix, folded into very compact structures in the cell nucleus. The center of each of these structures is composed of a protein called histone. Each center consists of eight proteins, two copies each of four types of histones. Researchers have been working hard to understand their roles. This structural unit, formed by DNA wrapped around the histone proteins, is called a nucleosome. By treating multiple atoms as one single particle, we can increase the number of phenomena in our simulation. Human DNA measures about two meters in length. But it can fit in a tiny nucleus of only 10 micrometers in diameter by forming a fiber of packed nucleosomes called chromatin. For the genetic information to be read, the DNA has to be unwrapped from the histones. K computer has made it possible for the first time ever to calculate the force required at the atomic level to unwrap the DNA. It is also known that changes in histone state can alter DNA fluctuation. Histones have unstructured flexible regions. These are called histone tails. When the histone tails undergo chemical modifications, such as acetylation, the structure of the nucleosome changes. For instance, we know that acetylation of specific parts of the histone tails loosens the chromatin structure, making the nucleosomes less tightly packed. The DNA has to unwrap from the histone proteins to allow other proteins to read its genetic information. Here, the tumor suppressor protein, called P53, is about to bind to the DNA. When the DNA is unwrapped, P53 can move along the DNA and read its genetic information. Chemical modifications, such as acetylation and differences in chromatin structure, affect the reading of the genetic information. This allows various cells and tissues, such as red blood cells and nerves, to be generated from the same DNA. The study of the mechanisms by which genes are turned on or off without changes in the underlying DNA sequence is called epigenetics. Studies using supercomputers to simulate the motions and shapes of molecules will contribute to the development of new drugs and research on regenerative medicine, leading us into an exciting new era.